Alright, so we are recording and here we go. So what is your name? My name's Yvette Van Dyke. And how long have you lived in Milwaukee? I've lived in Milwaukee three years. And what section of town do you live in? I live over uh, right on the edge of Ardenwald, Hector Campbell, uh, Llewellyn Street. And what do you like best about Milwaukee? What don't I love about Milwaukee? Milwaukee is a real community. Um, we went down, they let the people make their choices. I loved it last weekend at the park, or weekend before. No, I think it was last weekend. Uh, where people got to choose what kind of flowers they want in the park, what was going on in the park. They let the community, the people here, come and be a part and be voices. Um, they accept everybody and uh, it's, it's just coming here, it has that small town feel and a community feel and where all the people who are in City Hall and uh, everybody here tends to, nobody's better than each other, everybody tends, tends to listen to the voices of Milwaukee. I think that's my favorite part. And why did you come to Milwaukee? Well, actually, uh, my wife used to live here. She lived here for quite some time. And uh, she's always loved Milwaukee. We have friends in Milwaukee. It's uh, always been a part of her heart. You're close to Portland. You're close to the water. You have a small time town feel and uh, the community, really. And tell me one of your favorite stories about Milwaukee. Oh my gosh. Well, when I first came here and I learned about the Umbrella Parade, that was like one of the most awesome things. Um, I, I love, everybody here has a little bit of uh, history, so I went over to the Made in Milwaukee store, met Chris Haberman, and uh, he can tell you just about anything, and you go there, and it was, he told me story about uh, uh, Pig Champion, who used to live on my street, who sold his songs to some rock band and it lived in the house right next door to me. And here was this man that you would think was really poor, but he actually had these big royalties and uh, didn't like banks much. And the lady next door at 7-Eleven used to cash his checks for him. And it was, that's part of the love of Milwaukee. But here we've had some people here, like I said, there was famous people here. And, um, but to find out these stories, and I hear them from Chris all the time. Chris Haberman, you want a good story? We go to meet Milwaukee. Chris Haberman will give you anything you need to know. That, that is the absolute truth. Uh, and if you could just uh, say, look right into the camera and say, Happy birthday, Milwaukee. Happy birthday, Milwaukee, Dogwood City. All right, excellent. All right.